of a driver that's a little frustrated. All right, there's Brian Vickers. There's Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88, right up there at the front on the inside. Coming off two, down the back straightaway. Jr. gets a good run. Vickers puts a little block on him. And then you be the judge. Let's reiterate the rule. You are not allowed to advance your position below the yellow line. If you are forced below the yellow line, you must come back up and blend in. Vickers puts the block on him, and then Junior just turns right back into the racetrack, right in the left rear, Brian Vickers. Saw a similar situation like that yesterday uh, in the uh, nationwide race. And the results are a good eight to ten race cars torn up. Now Vickers makes a legal move coming down to block Dale Jr. But instead of blending in, Jr. caught the back end of Vickers Toyota. And of all the cars in that crash, you have to feel for Kyle Busch. He had led 88 laps, far more than anyone else today, but his number 18 is junk. Just all of this uncalled for mainly with 75 laps to go in this race. Well, let's ride with Junior. Gonna push you. On the bottom three wide. Two outside, two outside there. Go low, go low, go low. There you go, good job. Jimmy Johnson's view. Outside, no help. Out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Guys, be ready with our splitter hardware. With Denny Hamlin. And finally, here's what Digger saw. Both of the Gibbs cars were involved, Denny Hamlin as well. And I guess, Daryl, what I would say, putting a block like that on someone with 70.